What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with a Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Enchanting Plus mod, and what this mod will allow you to do is it will allow you to customize the enchantments that you have on your items. Um, normally within Minecraft, when you go to enchant something, it is completely random, but with this mod installed, you will be able to select exactly what enchantments you want on your items. You can use this to enchant all of your items just like normal enchanting. You will also be able to transfer enchantments to another weapon or uh, another item of the same the same type of item. You can also repair your items with this using enchantment points. And if you want to take the enchantments off of your weapon or whatever it may be to get the uh, experience points back, you can do that so you can use them on another item. So let me go ahead and go down into my enchantment room here and I will show you exactly how this works. So here we have my little enchanting room, the library books around and everything. Um, actually, first off, I want to show you that this mod does also add a pocket enchanter. And if you use this, you can go ahead and use the enchantment table wherever you want. Um, you can see right now there's 4 out of 15 bookshelves around me, so it tells you how many bookshelves there are. Um, so you don't have to be in an enchantment room or at your house or anything like that. You can just take this with you and use it on the go. But I'm going to go ahead and use the enchanting table for um, demonstration. So here we go. Again, if you go up here, you can see how many bookshelves are um, around the enchantment table. It says 10 out of 15, but uh, clearly I have far more than that. But apparently I don't have um, them set up correctly. But 10 out of 15 is still pretty good. So we have this right here. So if we take one of our swords and place it up here. You can see we do have Sharpness, Smite, Band of Anthropods, Knockback, Fire Aspect, <coughs> excuse me, Looting, Unbreaking, and that is all you can put on it. Now you can go ahead and go and raise up these things, so we'll do Sharpness to 5, and if I do that, you can see it costs 26, but if I raise that to 5, you won't be able to put any Smite or Band of Anthropods on it. So if I raise this, or lower this, Actually, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to put any sharpness on this without being able to put Smite and uh, Ban of Anthropods. So, you will not be able to put everything on it, but you will be able to customize it. See, so we'll go all the way up to Knockback 2. We can put the Fire Aspect all the way up. We can do the Looting, and then the Unbreaking all the way up. And you can see that's going to cost 98 enchantment points. Um, or experience points. I do not have 98 experience points. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, since I'm in creative mode, it will still allow me to do it. So it'll tell you if you're able to um, enchant it if you have enough points. And then we, we're not doing disenchant yet. So let's go ahead and just hit yes to enchant this. So there we go. Now we have our diamond sword that is crazy powerful. Now again, if you want to disenchant this, you can go ahead and place it back up in here, and then you can go ahead and hit disenchant, or I'm sorry, you can take these, all the um, things you used, and then you can do disenchant, it will not allow you to get everything back, but you can get a lot of the uh, points back that you had put into it. So you see I have 89 instead of 92 and then you can remove the enchantments and you would get those points back. But uh, for sake of the video since we're going to need to um, disenchant it or not disenchant it, um, transfer the enchantments so I can show you that. I'm going to go ahead and re-enchant this real quick. Alright there we go. Re-enchant that. So we have our diamond sword up here that is enchanted, and if we take a normal diamond sword, um, there won't be anything on it, and we can go ahead and do uh, transfer. Why is this not working? We have to swap them. Hang on. We may have to put this one up here, and then put this one down here, and there we go. Now we can do transfer, and that would cost nine experience points. So there we go. Now this one's enchanted and this one is no longer enchanted which was the one that was originally enchanted. So that is how you do the transfer. Now to show you the repair I'm going to go ahead and go into my little zombie room here and kill some zombies just to get some damage on this thing. 
Actually, let me turn it to survival. So you can see it's a super powerful sword now. And it's taking some damage once I kill this guy. Now let's go back in here, and then I will show you how to repair it. So if you take your damage sword or whatever item that is damaged, put it up in here, and then you can repair it for 29 points. Um, unfortunately, wait, let's go back to creative mode. It'll cost 29 uh, experience points. And then you go ahead and hit repair. Why is it not repairing it? Do we put it down here? No. Repair it. Um, yeah, not too sure why it's not repairing it. Maybe I don't have enough damage on it. But uh, you would just click this, and then it will repair the sword. So, yeah, that is all the features. You have your enchanting, your disenchant, your repairing, and your transfer, so you can transfer your enchantments. So that is the enchantment plus mod. Very, very useful mod. I especially like the pocket enchanter, because you'll be able to travel around the world, and if you pick up items and or craft items you won't have to go all the way back to your house just to enchant them so yeah that is the enchantment plus mod i now need to clear up my minecraft jar after i do that i'll be back and i will show you how to install this mod okay so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archive program such as winrar 7 zipper winzip now all archive programs work relatively the same way so you can use whatever you prefer however i will be using winrar in the tutorial you will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the Enchanting Plus mod itself. So to get these two files, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. So if you scroll down, you have your table of contents with all your information. But we're going to want to go down to the versions right here. And we're going to be downloading two things off of this page. So I would recommend right-clicking this first download link and then do Open Link in New Tab. This will take us over to an ad focus, and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right-hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a button saying skip will appear. Go ahead and click on skip, and then this will take us over to a media fire, and of course, you just click on download to download the mod. So that is how you download the actual mod. Now, you're also going to be downloading a specific version of Minecraft Forge from here once you get down to the requirements. Um, this mod does require version 7.7.0575 of Minecraft Forge and again you're going to want to go ahead and just click on this download link to open link and new tab this will take us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner once again uh, once that's up it will say skip ad and a yellow button go ahead and click on that and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download Minecraft Forge and the Enchantment Plus mod. So once you've downloaded those, to install them, you want to go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent. Go ahead and open up your roaming, then open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. To open with and select whatever archive program you're using, I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So, once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to put all of these files into your Minecraft jar, and the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold Control, then hit A. And that will highlight everything and simply drag it all over into your Minecraft jar. Go ahead and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and close down Minecraft Forge. In your Minecraft jar, you will have a folder called MetaInf. You will want to delete this, so go ahead and right click it, select Delete Files, then hit Yes, and that will delete MetaInf. Now you want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf for installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar, and you should have minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up, and go ahead and hit Backs. So we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, and if you don't have one already, you'll need to create one, and to do that, you want to simply right-click within the .minecraft folder, go down to New, and then, of course, select Folder. This will make a new folder that you want to rename Mods, so just M-O-D-S, no capitalizations. So once you have your Mods folder, go ahead and open that up, and simply take your Enchanting Plus um, jar file and drag it into the Mods folder. Now you can go ahead and close down the Mods folder, and that's it. You're done installing the mod.
So I hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave a comment down below for mod suggestions for future mod tutorials. And I will see you guys next time.